Hi, I'm George, the Weather Dad, and Happy Thanksgiving. Overall, it's not too bad across the country travel-wise. Today, there are a few issues, but as we work our way over on into the upcoming weekend, it's looking better and better. It's going to be cold, but it's looking better as far as driving is concerned. Temperature-wise, well, that's the big story. Very cold Arctic air, Arctic air, not Canadian air, Arctic air spilling southward across the northern part of the, uh, part of the country. In fact, the cold air has worked its way all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico. Yellow reflects normal temperatures, normal highs this time of year right here in the Ohio Valley. We're looking at high temperatures around the upper 40s. Now, we're not even going to be close to that over the next couple of days. And nighttime lows right around freezing. We're going to be well down into the 20s. Some of us will even see temperature down into the teens. The first hard freeze that we've seen so far this year. And you can see the dark purples even up into central Canada. Now that's on your Friday. By Saturday, not much changes. Still very cold across most of the area. High temperatures in the uh, 30s across the Ohio Valley for uh, Friday as well as Saturday. And it looks like that may even continue on into Sunday to some extent. But as we work our way on into next week, again, notice where the cold air is currently parked. This is on Sunday. Let me take you now to next Wednesday. Notice we're going to start seeing some modification of the air mass. So we're going to start seeing temperatures a little bit closer to normal by middle part of next week. Of course, though, the big question for you as far as travel is concerned, what about the precipitation? And it's really not too bad. The only real concerns that we have with the weather is going to be right along the lake effect uh, areas where you have very cold air streaming across the open waters of the Great Lakes. You're looking at feet of snow for a lot of you across uh, uh, up upstate uh, Michigan, up uh, portions of Wisconsin even, uh, Michigan, uh, New York, and Ohio, and Pennsylvania. And so that lake effect snow machine will continue for the next several days. We have some very heavy rains across uh, the northern portions of Florida, and that's on your Friday. By Saturday, that moves out. We have another little disturbance, a little bit of energy, if you will, across the central U.S. Not much of a problem from that standpoint. We could be looking at a little bit of snow because, again, temperature is very cold here. But notice the lake effect machine still cranking away at that point. Sunday still a little bit more up to the north. Nothing else really going on across the country. Fairly quiet. And then by next Wednesday, notice we have another system moving across. Does get some energy. This is by Wednesday. So by Monday, Tuesday, you're going to see some precipitation in this area. Again, temperatures will be modifying. So I don't really look at a lot of snow at this point. We have to keep an eye on it, though, as uh, this thing will continue to move towards the east as well as up towards the northeast. But other than that... As you can see here, fairly quiet, maybe a little bit of weather down around Texas. Overall, not too bad for traveling over the next couple of days. Again, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm George, the Weather Dad.